Today, ladies and gentlemen, I have destroyed FC Barcelona. I've not only relegated them to the second tier of Spanish football, I've not only released all of their best players, I've also taken almost all of their budget away from them and all of this has led to Xavi stepping down as Barcelona manager and leaving the football club. But don't you Barca fans worry all that much, I've got you guys covered. That's right, I'm taking on the enormous job of being the next Barcelona manager. And not only am I going to get them back into La Liga, I am once again eventually going to crown them the world's best club. So here is the season one starting 11 team after it's been completely destroyed. And let me tell you something, guys. It is a far cry from the team it used to be. No Lewandowski, no Pedri, no Gavi. Our highest rated player is central attacker midfielder Pablo Torre. That's how bad this team has become now. But that's got me curious. I've thrown out Barcelona's best players. I wonder where they all landed. Well, Ronald Araujo has landed at Chelsea, man. That's a very good move for him. He's by mile one of the best players I'll have right now. As for Gavi, he's gone to Germany. Giants by Munich. But this one stings a bit. Pedri's moved to Real Madrid. Can you imagine how stat their midfield's gonna be now, especially with Pedri in it? And we're a while away before we can once again compete with Real Madrid. We've only got 5 million in our budget to kick things off in this rebuild, but once again, there are a couple of rules. Whilst we're in the second tier of Spanish football, we're restricted to 5 million euros every season. Once we get promoted to La Liga, we get 20 million a season. But when we once again qualify for European football, there will no longer longer be any restrictions on the budget. But as you can see guys, we need a lot more than 5 million euros to get this team back to where it once was. We need a bloody miracle for that to happen. But I feel like investing a decent amount of money in our youth academy is definitely the right route to go down, especially with how good La Masi has been at producing talents over the years, with Lamine Yamal being the latest addition. So for half a year, I'm sending a scout to Spain and then for three months to Argentina and at the end of this season, we'll see what they've come up with. Well, speaking of academy players, we've got a promising one already. Simon Kaufman from Austria, 17, 54 overall, got a decent potential. We're going to promote all these guys to the senior squad anyway, but I'm definitely keeping my eye on Simon Kaufman. Now, this leaves us with around 3 million euros to spend on this team to try and make sure by the end of this season we haven't had our backsides handed to us. But before I spend any money, I'm switching the formation to the 4 triple 2 formation. With the plays we've got and the positions we've got remaining in the team, this is the formation that makes the most sense. And of course, we are rocking the tiki-taka style of play. Xavi might have left, but Barcelona is still the same team that is known for playing this type of football. But after meddling with it a little bit, this is how the team looks right now. And honestly, guys, all things considered, I don't think it looks that bad. But as you can see, we don't have a left back in the entire team. So I feel like we pour all of our remaining funds into that position just to make sure we've got a very strong player in it. And I found a very good option for that role. Pablo Garcia from Real Sporting. He's only 23, 66 rated. I don't know how much potential this guy's got but it looks pretty decent to me and there we go guys two million euros later we've officially got our one and only signing of season one now the scouts first month is done and he's found a couple of decent players david nava 16 decent overall and potential as well as ivan bravo who's also 16 and got a decent overall and potential if this is only what one month can do imagine what an entire year can do but until then this is how the team looks going into season one and guys this season is all about hope if i'm being honest I'm hoping that the scout can continue to do his job and find us some balls and I'm also hoping that this team massively improves by the end of the season. And more importantly guys, I'm really hoping we don't get annihilated. We've just destroyed Barcelona. The last thing we need is to finish last. But it's quite the opposite. We're in the playoffs with a great opportunity to get promotion back into the top flight of Spanish football exactly one season after Barcelona was completely destroyed. But then again, maybe not. Levante absolutely wiped the floor with a 6-1 on aggregate. Crikey. Yeah, we're not ready to get promoted just yet. And we got knocked out of the Copa de España before we even had a chance to breathe, so it's safe to say, guys, we're not ready for anything yet. But the good news is the scouts delivered this year four very promising plays that we can put into the team next year, whether that be in the starting 11 or out on loan. Regardless, we've got four very good plays for the future. And on top of that, look at the individual development of all the plays this year, man. I reckon we actually aren't far off getting promotion at all, you know. And the stats are just as impressive with Angel Alcaron being our top goal contributor. 21 goals, 5 assists and 44 games. He's gone up to 74 rated as well. What a player. Let's put it this way. We got the playoffs with a broken down, destroyed Barcelona team. So you can imagine what we do with a more developed and improved Barcelona team. I don't personally know what this future holds for this Barca squad. But one thing is for certain, our journey with them has only just begun. But 
before we get to season two, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you leave it a big old thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. Okay, we're into a new season with this Barcelona team. We're still in the second tier of Spanish football, which means we still got five million and five million alone in our budget. But I think the only thing that separates this team from the top tier of Spanish football is one signing alone. And that one signing is a replacement for right back Alho. I mean, he was half decent for us last year, but he's 31 years old, 68 overall. We definitely need younger and better quality in this position. And I think 23 year old Sergio Carrera is the man for the job. He's 71 rated and his contract is running out guys and we all know how much I love a bargain. But admittedly, I did have to spend way more than I originally thought as we had to fork out 3.45 million euros to secure Sergio Carrera's services. Now as for our academy players, I feel like the best course of action is just to send them all out on loan because as you've already seen from the starting 11, the quality and it is too good yet for these guys to fit into it. I mean, with players like Casado, Pablo Torre, and also Alarcon in the starting 11 alone, not only do I feel like the quality is too good for the academy players, I feel like the quality in this team now is too good for the second tier of Spanish football. And with us bolstering our defence, I think we're saying goodbye to La Liga Harp Emotion this season. We're saying hello to La Liga Santander next year. And that's exactly what we're doing, but we're doing it as champions as we finish first in this league at the end of this season. Get it! In. But we still couldn't get out of round one in the Copa de España. Go bloody figure. But look at this team, man. There's not a single player under 70 rated in this entire start 11. Guys, I feel like we're going to do just fine next year in the top flight of Spanish football. And the good news doesn't stop there. The improvement in our loan players this year is absolutely phenomenal. I reckon at some point they're definitely going to have a shot in our team. But for now, nobody's taking a lock on spot with 30 goals, 11 assists and 43 games, man. He is absolutely absolutely world class this guy is already at 21 years old well guys i called it i said this was going to be our last season in the second tier of spanish football and i was absolutely bang on the money and with the team heading into season three looking like this not only do i think we're going to survive la liga i feel like we're going to absolutely thrive especially now that we've got 15 million to spend as opposed to only 5 million but we're starting season three with some bad news our goalkeeper richard afore has joined us sooner because he thought we were going to get our backsides handed to us and all of our thoughts the same thing so he is up and left and joined Girona. but this one stings the most man our best player Pablo Torre has indeed joined Real Madrid I thought these guys were behind me in this project but it turns out they ain't as loyal as I thought they were and even though we've got an increased 15 million to spend this season that's nowhere near enough to bring in a replacement goalkeeper and two central attacking midfielders but hang on a minute Alvaro Alvarez has just come back on for his loan move he's only 18 he's got potential to be special and he's 68 rated maybe instead of buying a goal but we just throw him into the team. And how could I forget these guys? We've got Tito Alvarez and Zisco Arias. I mean, these guys aren't as good as Horvath or Pablo Torre, but they've definitely got the potential to be as good as them, if not better. And just like that, guys, thanks to our youth academy, our problems are all solved, and I absolutely reckon these guys are going nowhere purely because they've come through the academy. My only slight concern is Alvarez may struggle a little bit with him being 68 rated, so I reckon we put all that 15 million into bolstering our defense just to make sure that Alvarez has got all the help he can get. So with that being said, I'm bringing a Ray Komert into the team. He's 27, 76 overall and his contract's running out, meaning we'll get him cheap as chips. And following him is Abel Bretones as well. He's 24 years old, 75 overall, may have a decent future as well and his contract's running out as well, meaning we're going to get a bargain for both of these players. And just like that, for the combined total of 12 million euros, we've signed both of these defenders on five-year deals and that's how we're transfer we're now done for season three now believe me i'm aware i'm putting a lot of faith in alvarez to deliver the goods this year he's not even 70 rated in the top flight of spanish football i'm just hoping with the improvement we've made to the defense it won't matter all that much and we'll just about survive relegation but guys we did more than survive we bloody thrive we are eighth in la liga at the end of our first season in it only eight points away from european football that's crazy man eight points away from having no restrictions on our budget anymore that sucks man. But there is some good news. Real Madrid didn't win the league title. That means Pablo Torre thought the grass was greener on the other side and it turns out it bloody wasn't. And this time we actually made the round of 16 in the Copa de España before getting knocked out by Almeria. And it looks like putting faith in Alvarez was the right call. He's now 74 overall. I'm pretty sure he's grown six ratings this year. And guys, I'm bang on. He's grown six overall this season, but he's not the only player who's had a good year. Arias has had a good season. Firmin and also Alvarez grown to 78 
it rated, it definitely looks like we found Pablo Torres' replacement. And Alarcon is once again our best player. 23 goals, 8 assists and 40 games. We're going to be very lucky to keep him until the end of this video. I'm telling you that for nothing. I honestly think next season, if we make the right signings in the right places, we get European football. And more importantly, no more restrictions on our budget. So the faster we get European qualification, the bloody better. But for now, the restrictions remain, which means we've got 15 million to spend this year. And I think I know what to do with this money. I think we use it to improve this defense just a little bit more. Right now, I'm aware that our youth academy players are the weakest links in the team. But come the end of this season, I'm willing to bet that they won't be. Now, I'm aware that Array Komet only transferred to us last year. But look at his development plan. It'll take him 34 weeks to improve to a 78 rated defender. We can't have that, especially if we're good for European football this year. But I think replacing him with Leonardo Belludi is the route to go down. He's 27, 81 overall. And whilst he is pretty expensive, his contract's running out. So maybe we can make this happen. So I'm offering Ere Komert alongside 12 million. That works out at 3 million under his market value. Please accept it. Please accept it. They want 6% silent clause. Beautiful stuff. We have got our man. Somehow we have pulled that off. And there he is, ladies and gents, in the Barcelona kit. So that's our centre-back sorting. Now we just need to figure out how to improve our right-back. I mean, we've only got 2 million left in our budget, and that only leaves us with one option, and that is the free agents list. And guys, you ain't gonna believe this. Serginho Dest is a free agent, 80 overall, 25 years old. How this guy hasn't been picked up by a club yet, I don't know. But one thing's for certain, that is about to change. And with the signing of Serginho Dest for absolutely nothing, that concludes our business in this transfer window for this season and guys now that we've improved our defense and the team overall looking as good as it is i genuinely feel so confident that this is the year that we break into that top six i just hope i'm right and guess what guys i was bang on the money we are fifth in the league at the end of this season and we have once again got barcelona back in europe but the best part for me this season we finished above real madrid by three points pablo torre left us thinking he was going to a way better team when in only two seasons we finished above him have that Pablo and this time we made the quarters of the Copa de España only losing to Villarreal we're getting closer and closer to winning this competition but guys just look at this state of this team man especially our academy players I told you at the beginning of this year that they wouldn't be the weakest players in the team come the end of this season and I was absolutely right and this time both of our strikers pulled their weight 23 and 5 for Mark Gui and 21 and 6 for Larkon I mean fair play to the pair of them but guys we've got European football next Year, and that means one thing we've no longer got any restrictions on our budget but remember if we slip out of the top six we go straight back to having only 15 million a season so it's in our best interest to keep this up in the league and when you look at the team going into season five it's fairly obvious where he needs improving a new fullback a new center back and defensive midfielder are certainly on the cards but it's okay me saying all of this but we've got to see how much budget we've got to work with first and then we can make the decisions going forward but thankfully our budget is pretty damn decent 141 million euros to be exact and our highest budget yet with Barcelona now I said I wanted a new centre back and I found one Stuttgart Usman Diamande he's only 23 83 rated he stands at 6 foot 3 as well this guy is going to be a brick wall as for the fullback I'm raiding the Bundesliga once again Quilinci Hartmann he's only 25 83 overall and just look at how rapid he is guys I reckon he's going to be an absolute monster in the Spanish league and to sign these two players we spent 110 million euros on the dot leaving us with just under 30 million euros to bring in a brand new CDM but honestly guys I've had a change of heart. I mean when you look at his development plan it'll only take Pal Prim 5 weeks to improve to an 82 rated player and he's only 21 years old for goodness sake. I feel like I was a little bit harsh on saying he needs replacing. Now as you guys know last year we qualified for the Europa League and we've been put into Group F alongside Lil Victoria Plisson and Raquel and I'm going to be real with you lot with the team looking this good going into season five not only do i feel like we're going to do pretty well in the europa league i reckon that la liga title's on the cards for us too this year but this time i was slightly off the mark we are fourth in la liga so it's still good we've got champions league football next year 
Sevilla, but we were a solid eight points beyond the title winner Sevilla. But what I find mental about this year is Real Madrid finished seventh in the league, a solid six points behind us. How the hell did that happen when they've got the quality they've got? I mean, they've got Sellers Regen, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Jude Ballingham, Brahim, Eduardo Camavinga, and that's the first five players I've scrolled down to. I haven't even tried to find these guys. But you know what? I'm not exactly complaining. We're finishing above them, so that means we're doing a damn good job. But we didn't do a good job in the Copa de España, only making it to the round of 32 this time. As for the Europa League, we very easily topped the group by four points. Oh, I'm hoping to God we've won this competition. And that's exactly what we've done, beating AC Milan 2-1 in the final. So that's our second trophy won with this new and improved, in my opinion, Barcelona team. And just look at the team, for goodness sake, with the players that we scouted in Season 1 and the transfers we've made up to this point. We have well and truly revived Barcelona. And I'm especially glad I gave Pau Prem another chance in the starting 11 because he's gone up to 85 rated this year. Imagine if I'd have just dropped him and put him on the bench. What a waste of talent that would have been. As for the stats, Larkon's once again the top dog. 36 goal contributions in 52 games. He's been world class for us ever since season one, hasn't he? But it's official with us getting top four football and winning the Europa League just to make sure we've got Champions League football next year. And I personally think after I'm done in the transfer window next year, we are more than capable of not only just taking part in the Champions League, but being a serious contender to winning it. Now, as we enter season six, our budget is the highest it has been so far, just under. 200 million euros and it's safe to say guys i know exactly where to put that money and no it's not going anywhere into this starting 11 as you can see guys there's no real area of weakness in that entire team so i'm leaving it alone but i can't say the same for our subs bench because apart from our center back and fullback it is a total load of garbage we need a better second choice keeper cdm central attacking midfielder and a striker at the very least but i'm pretty certain we can sort this out in one transfer window with this amount of money Money in our budget. Now, starting with the goalkeeper, I went for Everton's Dominic Livakovic. He's 33 granted, but he's 84 rated. And with him being a goalkeeper, that rating will stay like that for quite some time. And for only 11.3 million on the dot, he now plays for us. Following him is Salis Abdul Samed from RC Lens. He's 28, 81 overall. This guy is nothing special in comparison to our starting 11, but he'll definitely do a job as a backup CDM. And I'm signing Raul Garcia is our backup up striker is 27 and 82 rated and more importantly he plays for Osasuna they took our best keeper from us when we got promoted so I'm taking their best striker away from them now and for the total amount of 65.2 million euros we have signed both of these players on four year deals and that still leaves us with over 100 million euros but I feel like I only need 60 to bring in the cam I want I am indeed talking about Giannis Constantalius he's 83 overall he's 25 years old this guy is a baller in real life as well as this game you better believe leave them signing anymore. And that concludes business in season six as we've just spent 50 million euros on the dot to sign Giannis Constantalius. But more important business is about to begin as we are in the Champions League in Group E alongside RB Leipzig, Stad Rene and Dynamo Kiev. And I'm not going to lie guys, I feel like we're going to absolutely tank this group. Especially now that not only the start and the level looks good, so does the subs bench. There is absolutely no excuse why we can't at least make it to the round of 16 this time. But if I'm being honest, I'm not going to be surprised surprised if we make it to the final. As for our league finish, however, we've got our highest finish yet and third in La Liga, but Real Madrid did indeed win the title. Eight points clear of us as well, so we've definitely got some catching up to do with them now. And we once again crash out to the Copa de España in the round of 32. At this point, I've just accepted we're not going to win this competition, are we? And we also ain't winning the Super Cup because Bayern Munich just about beat us on penalties. But we could indeed win the Champions League because as you can see, we absolutely destroyed destroyed the group stage eight points clear top of the table and we drew against Celtic in the round of 16 and quite frankly obliterated them and we did the exact same to Real Sociedad in the quarters as well but United just about beat us in the semis they're playing Monaco in the Champions League final you're kidding me man we'd have annihilated them in the final I mean just look at their team for goodness sake I mean our lowest rated player in the starting 11 is Baloudi who's 84 rated that's how good we've become and as for the stats well look for yourself guys 34 and 8 for Alarcon and 33 and 3 for Mark Gui I mean what more can these strikers do man they have absolutely smashed it out the park this year and a special shout out to our attacking midfielders Cisco Arias and also Alvarez getting well over 25 goal contributions each I mean it's been a very interesting season top
top four in La Liga once again and the semis in the Champions League. But the problem is, I don't know what more I need to do to this team to win the title and, of course, the Champions League. I mean, the only thing I can think of is improving this bench where we didn't this year. That's by bringing in a fullback and a CDM or a cam. Other than that, I'm genuinely clueless. But guys, as we've gone into the new season, I've had a change of heart. I do want a better centre back than Baludi, so I'm bringing Ronald Araujo back to Barcelona. 30 years old now, 6 foot 2, 91 overall, and the best part is contracts running out, and we all know what that means. It means we've got the bargain of the century, only having to pay 100 million euros to bring Ronald Araujo back to Barcelona. And that still leaves us with 180 million euros to bring in a backup fullback and backup midfielder. Now I'm going for Jean Mario for that fullback position. He's 29, 82 rated. He's got very good stats as well, so he can definitely do a job if anything happens to our starting 11 fullbacks. And following him is Lucas Gornadel from Burnley. He's 25, 83 overall, a very well-rounded player, and he's a well addition to the team and for the grand total of 69 million we have signed both of these players on a four-year deal and that's our transfer window done for season seven and just look at this team now man especially with the addition of ronald araujo how don't we win everything this year it's actually hard not to with a team this good now obviously we all once again in the champions league alongside liverpool benfica and young boys in group c or as i like to call it the group of absolute death but as i've already said to you guys with this team i'm expecting nothing but total and utter domination in every single competition we are in this season and that definitely includes the Champions League. But it's safe to say we've dominated the league this time. We are 14 points clear, top of the table. We are champions and the best team in Spain. Get in! It's taken us long enough to do it. Seven seasons in total to be exact but you know what? Better late than never. But Atletico beat us in the Supercopa on penalties so we unfortunately don't secure the double just yet. But scratch that we have secured the double smashing Real Madrid in the Copa de España final. Get in, have that Pablo Torre. As for the Champions League, we smashed Group C pretty easily. Four points clear top of the table. We cruised to the knockouts. And that's where we absolutely obliterate and let 5-0 on aggregate. But we just about get past Inter in the quarters. We could be playing Bayern, Juve or Monaco. Oh, please be Monaco. I do not want to face a Bayern Munich team smashing Chelsea 5-1. And that's exactly what's happened. We smashed Monaco 6-2 in the set means we're playing Bayern Munich in the final of oh. God, that ain't going to be good, is it? I mean, don't get me wrong. We're both very good teams, but Bayern Munich have been on a warpath in the knockouts. They're not a team I wanted to come up against. But they shouldn't want to face us either because look at these stats. Oh my God. Our entire front four scored 20 plus goals alone. Never mind the rest of the stats. And this is indeed the team heading into the Champions League final for the first and hopefully the last time of this video. And what I absolutely adore about this team, there's some youth academy players, there's some OGs and only a couple of players we've actually brought into the team in the starting 11 man i feel like for the most part we have done an incredible job reviving barcelona after destroying them and we've been pretty successful with barca too winning both the second division title and la liga title alongside the copa de España and the europa league but now we have the chance to well and truly put barca back on top of the world by winning them their first champions league trophy since 2015 here we come early in the first half our oh, lock on he's so silky on the ball we're gonna fight oh that is Beautiful. Can we get around out? Oh, Arias, Arias. Wow. Oh. Arias! No! That would have been such a beautiful start to the game, man. Arias tore their defence apart. Oh, look at this for play. Alvarez is on the ball. Can we get a shot off on his right foot? Just can't get there in time. Here comes Michael O'Lease for them. And he's done Diamande like a kippy. He's coming forward. Okay. I don't think he's going to take the shot on because his weak foot's not that good. There we go. Beautiful defending Araujo. Here comes Prim on the counter-attack. We don't really want him on the counter-attack. Let's be real. Arias is the player that we want on the counter-attack, though. He's found Gui. Gui is going to find that ball. No, he's not. We just couldn't get it to him. Here we come, though. We've got a bit of room to run into. Oh, Bayern Munich's defender's just been left for dead. Oh, that's beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. a lock on. Behave yourself, lad. This is Tic Attack of Football at its finest, man. I was going to pull it back and sweat it, but the ball roll around the keeper, man. Mwah. Beautiful stuff. But here we have Arias. Look at him go, man. Brema doesn't stand a chance. He's going to get outpaced by Arias. He's coming forward. He's found Gui. Okay. What, that is definitely not what I wanted to do with that. What are we doing there? Dest is still on the ball. We're going to cut it back. We're going to go inside. 
Take the defender out. Oh, can we get a shot off of the right foot? How the hell that's going in? I don't know. That literally trickled in. He could not have hit that with less power. But that is 2-0 to us on the stroke of half time. Des did really well. Alvarez spun the lit like he's not even there. And he side-footed that into the bottom left corner of the goal. Keeper definitely should have saved that. Prem's on the ball. Okay, this is nice. I see that run. Oh, that is amazing. That is an absolutely beautiful... That is genuinely top draw football there. What a third goal in the final. That was way too easy, man. What a strike. I mean, what a pass, to be fair. That all came from the assist from Prim. What a pass. Bayern need an absolute miracle to get back in this game, man. Less than 20 minutes remaining. They're 3-0 down. If they don't get a goal in the next couple of minutes, they are absolutely screwed. Sergino Dest is coming forward. Oh, I see that run. Oh, that is a beautiful ball. A lock on is on side. Oh, you know what? We're going to be cheeky. Travella that. <laughs> 4-0, game over. A lock on is just too damn good, man. I did want it on the outside of the foot, but you know what? That'll do for me. Banner coming forward. Extra time. Please don't concede here, for goodness sake. Oh, what a tackle from Araujo. And I feel like that's game over. There is the whistle. We have well and truly obliterated Bayern in the Champions League final. 4-0 it ends. Not only have we made Barca the best team in Spain once again, but we have made them the world's best club. We well and truly burnt this club down but we've revitalized them we've rebuilt them and they have rose from the ashes to become even better than they once were and if you enjoyed me destroying relegating and rebuilding barcelona you'll definitely enjoy me doing this same thing to manchester city